The most precise image ever taken by the James Webb Telescope of Proxima b has just been released, revealing startling details about this potentially habitable exoplanet. Go along with us as we leave on an excursion through space to uncover the secrets of Proxima b and find whether it very well may be the following Earth. Let's launch ourselves into the vastness of space. A secretive planet exists in the tenable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't simply any conventional stone. Its world's cousin, Proxima Centauri b, found a simple 4.2 light years from us. Covered in secret and marvel, might it at some point be one more Earth with seas and life abounding on its surface? But hold on, there's more. Proxima Centauri c is not the only object traveling around the red dwarf star with Proxima Centauri b. Who can say for sure what different mysteries this star framework holds? Maybe one more sidekick that we still can't seem to find. The secrets don't stop there. Proxima Centauri b gets pretty much similar measure of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this intend that there's water on its surface, maybe even life? As we adventure past our planetary group, we find an entirely different universe of exoplanets. Planets that circle stars other than the Sun. There are six trillion stars in the universe, so there is no end to the possibilities for exoplanets. It's not uncommon for exoplanets to wander the cosmos on their own, unattached to any star. However, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a truly remarkable and mysterious planet among them all. With a year that lasts only 11.2 Earth days and a distance from its star that is 20 times closer to the Sun than Earth is, it is likely that one side of the planet is always illuminated by sunlight and the other side is always dark. Let's talk about the red dwarf Proxima Centauri, the host star of Proxima Centauri b. It frames a piece of the Alpha Centauri triple star framework. This situation is comprised of Rigel Centaurus, Alpha Centauri A, Ptolemon, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri C. It makes the closest star framework to our own special nearby planet group. Alpha Centauri AB is the name given to the binary formed by the two stars Rigel Centaurus and Ptolemon. These G and K type stars show up as one star in the heavenly body of Centaurus and are the third most brilliant stars in our night sky. Proxima Centauri, which is also known as Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf or M-type star that is 0.21 light-years away from the other two stars. This is about 13,000 times the distance that separates the Sun and Earth. Proxima Centauri actually means the nearest star of Centaurus in Latin, so technically, it is the closest star to us. Found in 1915 by Scottish stargazer Robert Thorburn Aiton Innes, Proxima Centauri is tragically not apparent to the unaided eye because of its clear size of 11.1, .1, which is far more prominent than the most extreme natural eye breaking point of 6.5. In terms of energy production, red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient. They may not produce a great deal of energy. However, the inside convection process at their center keeps them sparkling for trillions of years. For an additional 4 trillion years, Proxima Centauri will continue to be a main sequence star. A red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri's habitability, on the other hand, is still up for debate. It is a flare star, meaning it has incessant and flighty changes, and as a low mass star, the livable zone would be nearer to it than that of the Sun. Being somewhere in the range of 0.023 and 0.054 Australian dollars is anticipated. However, it isn't as habitable as it appears. Proxima b could get similar measure of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. However, it is besieged by outrageous bright radiation from its Sun, many times more grounded than the radiation we get from our Sun. This radiation is extreme to the point that even the lightest particles of hydrogen get obliterated, not to mention nitrogen and oxygen. Since a planet is at the right separation from its star doesn't mean it can uphold life. Proxima b probably won't have a reasonable environment which is fundamental for directing environment and supporting a water-accommodating surface. Without it, living organic entities would be helpless against hazardous space climate, making life almost unthinkable. So while Proxima b might seem to be Earth on a superficial level, it is a long way from having the option to help life. The search for the truth about Proxima b continues, and some people still have hope despite the numerous factors that render it inhabitable. One instrument that has caught the consideration of stargazers is the James Webb Telescope. 
The telescope was finally launched in 2018 after numerous delays, and it will assist us in determining whether or not there is life on Proxima b. Likewise with everything in science, things are never fully as direct as they appear. Numerous alterations were expected to guarantee that the James Webb Telescope created exact pictures. As Avi Loeb, a hypothetical physicist at Harvard, makes sense of, in the event that a planet like Proxima b can ingest light from its star, it can likewise reproduce it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was explicitly intended to notice infrared light. It is able to take pictures of this light on the planet's surface and look for patterns that could indicate whether the planet has an atmosphere or water. Yet, imagine a scenario where the planet has an air that isn't helpful for life. Ed Turner, a Princeton University astrophysicist, warns that the existence of life is not guaranteed by the presence of an atmosphere. Similar to Venus, Proxima b may have a dense atmosphere 90 times denser than Earth's and extreme heat that would render life impossible. The mission to unwind the secrets of Proxima b isn't without its difficulties. Even though the James Webb Telescope seems promising, there are other things to think about. With costs mounting, stargazers are unable to figure out how to notice planets like Proxima b. The dangers are perfect, however the prizes are considerably more prominent. Astronomers are willing to take the chance to look into the unknown and discover the secrets of a faraway planet that holds the promise of life. Venturing out to Proxima b, suppose speculatively, if the exoplanet was affable, might we at any point try and go there? It's the nearest exoplanet to us, which makes it so energizing since it's practically similar to searching in our enormous terrace. Much seriously fascinating that it's generally a similar size as Earth, and its area in the livable zone implies it might actually have the circumstances for life as far as we might be concerned. Proxima's vicinity likewise makes it a practical objective for our quest for life past Earth. With it being not far off, all things considered, generally talking, it's an extraordinary competitor for interstellar missions. Really ponder the chance of investigating this world like planet. However, we can't as yet go there. It's most certainly on the radar for future missions as innovation progresses. In the field of space exploration, this is one of the most exciting projects. Be that as it may, arriving is no simple accomplishment. Voyager 2 and other spacecraft would need 75,000 years to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Nonetheless, an answer has been proposed. Sunlight-based sails. A spacecraft could be accelerated to the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima b by means of these extremely thin sails. This innovation utilizes sun-oriented strain to keep the shuttle on course, disposing of the issue of running out of fuel. The journey to the Alpha Centauri system could be completed in as little as 20 years at speeds estimated to be between 10% and 20% of the speed of light. The revelation of Proxima b has reignited mankind's interest with space investigation. We now have renewed hope that we are not the only ones in the universe. The James Webb Telescope is a wonder of current innovation that has the ability to take us as far as possible back to the earliest reference point of the universe, 13.7 quite a while back. The farther away an article is, the more it takes for light to venture out from it to us. This indicates that the James Webb Telescope is capable of seeing things in the universe that are further away than any previous telescope. In addition, it can observe these objects in longer infrared wavelengths, enabling us to see even more distant stars with greater clarity than previously possible. Even more amazing is the fact that this amazing technology has the ability to reveal the possibility of life on other planets like Proxima b. Be that as it may, similarly as with anything this magnificent, there are a few constraints. For instance, the presence of an air doesn't be guaranteed to ensure the presence of life. Proxima b could be like Venus with a thick hot environment that is not reasonable forever. The James Webb Telescope has the ability to distinguish such light in the event that it arrives at a brilliance of only 5% of the regular day side. 5% probably won't seem like a lot, yet while you're managing a star that is multiple times dimmer than our own sun, it's really a gigantic arrangement. Assuming Proxima b has a clever human progress that is illuminating its surface, they might be utilizing splendid orbital mirrors to reflect daylight from the day side of the planet to the night side. How cool is that? There are endless exoplanets ready to be found in our universe. These planets come in all sizes and shapes, some of which resemble Earth while others are massive gas giants. What do we know about them, however? 
One kind of exoplanet that has caught the consideration of stargazers is the gas monster. The composition of these planets is similar to that of Jupiter and Saturn, but they are much larger. A portion of these behemoths, 